Ray, welcome back to a beautiful Modern Warfare 2 gun class setup. In today's video, we are going to be using the best M16 class setup. Make sure you guys definitely tune into this gameplay, man, because it is a banger. Even though I did choke a couple of nukes, even though I did choke a couple of nukes, man, I did pop off, and you guys will see some of the death comms even, all right? So make sure you guys definitely hit that like button if you do enjoy it. Subscribe if you haven't already, as well as turning on that post notification bell. That way you never miss another upload, as well as being that first one to hit that like button and comment. All right, so without further ado, man, I do hope you guys enjoy this gameplay, and I'll see you guys later for the attachments. Loading fresh mag! We have secured the lead. Throwing a stun grenade! Target area updated. Move to the hard point. Reloading! And the Oh. 
Ele.
Welcome back to this beautiful M16 class setup here on Modern Warfare 2. If you guys did enjoy that beautiful 80 plus kill gameplay, man, definitely smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, as well as turning on that bell, man, just to be the first one to comment Noti Gang and being that first one to hit that like button. Alright, so without further ado, man, let's do get right into this beautiful gun class setup, and I'll show you guys what I used. Starting off with the tacticals, we did run Stun Grenade, Lead Through, Semtex, and then for the perk package, we did run Phantom, which does give you the perks Battle Harder, Double Time, Cold Blooded, and Ghost. Alright, so as for the field upgrade, we did run the munitions box. This is honestly a definite must if you guys are trying to get that nuke, man, because you do waste out of ammo really quick, and then you don't want to use anybody else's drop loot. So make sure you guys definitely keep this ammo box on, man, just to keep you guys fully ammoed. Alright, so let's get right into this M16 class. Starting off with the muzzle, we did use the FTAC Castle Comp, which does increase horizontal and vertical recoil control. It does reduce some ADS time, but honestly, it doesn't really matter because we are going to be increasing that ADS time a bit more with some other attachments. For the barrel, we ran a 14-inch carbine shrouder, which does increase recoil control, as well as some hip recoil control and some bullet velocity for the ammo we ran the 45 round mag i did start off using the 60 round but then after a couple of games i changed it back to the 45 just for that extra mobility as for the stock just to increase that ads time as i did mention earlier we added on the salt t60 stock factory which does increase that ads time sprint speed and crouch movement speed and then lastly for the rear grip we ran the x10 grip further increasing some sprint to fire time and ads time definitely one of my favorite grips to use here on the m16 giving it that high ads speed all right so as you guys did see man this m16 class setup was godly i did choke 100 kills i did choke some nukes out there man but we did get over 80 kills as my new pr right now so if you guys did enjoy as i did say earlier man definitely smash that like button subscribe if you haven't already man Man, as well as turning on that bell this all does help out the channel man giving it that first like man as well as giving it that first comment all right so with that being said i really hope you guys enjoyed it and i'll see you guys in the next upload purse mm -hmm.